Hey everyone, I thought it'd be great to not talk about coronavirus this week, so let's flip to the front page of the newspaper and, oh dear, it's a racial killing in America and a city is tearing itself apart. It's a show of emotion that you probably wouldn't see in Britain unless the NHS was sold to Philip Green or the Royal Mail decided to release a special set of limited edition stamps featuring the life and times of Oswald Mosley. Nonetheless, what happened in the US was pretty abhorrent. An African-American gentleman named George Floyd was stopped by the police and despite not resisting arrest, they nonetheless decided to restrain him by kneeling on his neck for eight minutes after which, of course, he was long dead and the officers who were standing by have decided not to cooperate with the investigation into what happened. The one has been charged with third-degree manslaughter. Nonetheless, as with Dominic Cummings' trips to County Durham, this has happened on more than one occasion. And so the discussion about police brutality and what to do about it is once again on the table. One obvious solution would probably be to stop recommending the police service as a quasi-military career path to soldiers returning back from the army, many of whom have not been properly debriefed in commie old fashion, but taking someone with PTSD, handing them a gun and asking them to maintain law and order is akin to a hardware store taking a selection of fans for sale and placing them opposite the shelf where they store all the bags of feathers for sale, possibly next to a 32-gallon drum of tar. Let's think of another analogy. It's a bit like if the UN decided to set up a human rights council and then decided Saudi Arabia, Cuba and Russia were the people to run it. Oh, except whoops, that did actually happen. Sometimes fact is of course stranger than fiction. Anyway, there was also an equally bad incident in New York Central Park this week, which you may want to look up on the internet, but you know, for now, I don't really want to make jokes on the subject of these stories. The unfortunate thing is that next week we'll be back to coronavirus, but as the old expression goes, one death is a tragedy, hundreds of thousands of deaths is but a statistic. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.